What's up everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal and I'm here with Alex from Exclusively Hybrid. Hello. So I just met him because if you saw in my video in Florida, my car had a pretty big malfunction with the combo meter and luckily I met these guys and they were so knowledgeable and did so well that I asked them if they would help us out by making a video with me. We went over Gen 2 and Gen 3 common issues, but we're also gonna go over the battery because Alex is the battery expert. I thought this was the coolest thing ever. Alex is one of, or you are the first in the United States that actually start making yeah, new batteries, the market batteries. The market new with that being said, we're gonna go over some tips that will help prolong the life of your battery and also early on detection if your battery is going bad before the light even turns on and tells you it's going bad. And right. I think that is some of the most valuable information that I'm taking out of today. And I think you will too. So ready to get started? Yep, let's do it. Yeehaw. Hi friends, I'm Nikki Delventhal and this is my best friend Camper. I've been living out of my Toyota Prius since the winter of 2019 going into 2020 to explore the Americas and its natural beauty. I met Camper along the way. He found me on a remote hiking trail. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. About three months ago, we decided to start a YouTube channel and quickly became monetized. And now we've decided that with all of our external ad revenue, we were gonna make the world a better place. Just by watching this video, you're helping fund animals and families in need through our project called Camper Cares. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much. All right, so what you see here is a complete uh, battery pack with all the computers, the modules, the high voltage relay. But when you're talking about the actual batteries, we're talking about these babies right here. So in a Prius, you have 28 cells. They're identical cells and they're connected together to make up 220 volts, 230 volts, whatever it is you need to run your car. Now, when one of these goes bad, you will get a light on saying hybrid system malfunction and your car will not ride properly. Yes, even if one is bad, it will not work properly. Wow. So mm -hmm. let's say one of these goes wrong, right? And you say people drive around with a bad battery. How do you know if you have a bad battery? The lights will come on your dashboard again. Smart car. Smart car, whenever you have a problem, most right. likely there's a light. You have tons of sensors on every module. So if one of the modules shows that it has low voltage, the light will come on saying check hybrid system, hybrid system malfunction, whichever car you're in, it'll tell you, hey, there's a problem. Good to know. It's all right. For those of you, driving with pets in the car. So this is a fan, right? It sucks in the air from the cabin, yeah. and then it sends it to the hybrid battery to cool it down. And this is where it comes through. So in a Gen 3, right, this is where it comes in, and then it goes through the bottom to the battery to cool it down. Yeah. Now, if you look from the top, there's almost no space in between every cell. Yeah. So if you have little hairs, little dust, whatever it is, it clogs this up. So and with it's having a very, dog like I do, you get dog hair in there, your battery's going soon. We've seen, uh, you know what hairballs a cat cough up once in a while? Mm -hmm. I've seen that in these batteries mm -hmm. because, well, it, it wasn't from a cat, but mm -hmm. it, it, it gets stuck here. Mm -hmm. So you have like lumps of hair in your battery. So yes, your battery will go bad because it will overheat because it's not cooling down. Yeah. So, so that little area in the back of your car, like at the shoulder behind the passenger seat. So. What I notice a lot, of, now normally there are seats right here that you did a pretty cool job with this, by the way. Thank you. It was my first woodworking job. If anyone wants to learn how to do it, it's, it's check nice. my video. I like it. I like Thank it. you. So normally there's seats back here and I see people traveling and they just fill, they stuff it with everything. Now, if you close, if you put anything here and this vent is closed, your battery is getting hot. And when it gets hot, it will break. Because that air gets sucked through and it affects the battery that's right How, down here, right? right. Make sure that, like you said, you have at least a, a foot space around here so the air, hopefully cool air, um, can get in here and cool down your battery. Yeah. So make sure that's always clear. Okay. Um, now, these batteries do go bad without overheating tip. I mean, it's just like any other battery with time, they deteriorate and go bad. Do you, is there a certain amount of miles that a battery would usually go bad? On average, we see eight to 10 years or 120 to 160,000 miles. Okay. Somewhere there. Could go 250,000 miles. Really not miles or time, it's cycles. Yeah. So when you ask about uh, camping with a car running, right? Mm. Well, one of the problems with that too is that you actually, um, 
shortening the life of your battery because the batteries are not, the life of the battery is not measured by miles or by time, it's by cycles. Yeah. How many times you charge it and discharge it. Oh. So if you have your AC running, AC in this car runs off the hybrid battery because it's just like a compressor in your refrigerator. Yeah. It's electric. So it runs off the battery. So when the car is running or the AC is running in the car, you're sleeping, um, your battery gets discharged, then the engine turns on and charges the battery back up. All right. Then it shuts off and it discharges again. So you're not moving, but your battery is still working. That's why a lot of those security company cars have no miles in them at all, but their batteries die because they just sit there with the car running. Exactly. Ah, so I know a lot of you Prius owners are sleeping their car on. Besides safety, it's going to shorten the life of your battery and that's not fun because we want our home to live forever. You but if it does, because you're running it every night. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Again, at the dealership, these batteries are about $4,000, and we sell them for $2,000. Oh, wow, that's amazing. The major difference between this battery and the batteries that we make, the new batteries, is let me show you. Correct. So this is the aftermarket battery. From a, from a female perspective, this is a lot better looking. Well, the biggest difference <laughs> is that look in between the cells. You see how much spacing there is? Yeah, so it can cool off easier. Correct, more airflow going through, Wow. So as far as a battery, um, beyond if you need it repaired, here's some big stuff. Well, one of the good ideas, especially if you live in your car, if you live in the house, you vacuum all the time, right? Yes. Because you, you clean up because dust collects and you collect. I do that in my Prius at least once a week, I go and vacuum it up. But I bet you have never cleaned out the fan. No, I haven't. Okay. Hmm. So, Can you do that? Yes. Wow. You should do that. Especially, do you do that? well, you do have to take a couple of things apart. It's both Gen 2 and Gen 3. Well, Gen 2 is a little bit easier, sorry, Gen 3. Because it's on the battery itself. And Gen 2 is actually on the side of the car, so it's a little bit harder. This is actually something that I would want to know if I haven't built out my car yet, is being able to have access to my battery. In a Generation 2 Prius and Gen 3, but in, in Gen 2, when you have your multifunction display right in the middle, when you're on a screen that shows state of charge, if you're driving the car and it goes down to one purple bar, you have an issue. Okay, and there Your is battery an issue. is low capacity. You may have one bad cell, a couple of bad cells, some weak cells. One or the other, you get ready to replace your battery. Or when it goes up and down quick. Mm -hmm. So let's say it goes from two bars all the way to seven within seconds. Yeah. And then as, you, as soon as you take off, it'll go back down to two or one. That means this. And battery even if the no light is on, that just means the battery is going to have an issue. You're right. And that's not even like there's a fix. Well, some people do fix. What they do is they will take which one of these cells is bad, okay. take that cell off, and I'll sell back in and send you on your way. At the end it's, of the like day. Putting a, it's like putting a band-aid on a deep car. The computer looks at the car and it, and it checks the highest voltage against the lowest voltage. Toyota, it's 1.2 volts. So if the difference from the highest voltage to the lowest voltage is more than 1.2, the lights will come on, they have a problem. So if I take my battery, that's a good high capacity battery, and put it in your low capacity cells, yeah. my cell, my, the cell that I put in, will hold voltage a lot longer than your weaker cells. And that's where the computer will see the variance. And yes, I fixed the problem, but, but I just way, got another problem. So let's see, is there anything else as we're diving into a Prius battery that people might know as far as how they can detect that they are going to have issues or just some fun facts. If this fan stays on all the time, if it's constantly running at high speed, that means your battery's overheating. If your battery's overheating, that means there's a problem somewhere. One more thing is if you are working on your hybrid battery by yourself, which is okay, you know, there's a lot of big yourselfers, just be careful, don't electrocute yourself because it, you know, this is literally over 200 volts DC. It will hurt. So again, thank you for coming along. And while I have you, don't forget, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will teach you everything you need to know and show you everything you need to see. Alex, do you subscribe to me yet? I think my daughter did last night. No way! I think so. Oh, be like Alex, subscribe, and turn on notifications. See you next time. Also talked about One thing I wish I could have <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh.
to... <laughs> We're back. Okay, so, and if I do stop, just freeze, because then I can cut it. <laughs> just like, if I mess up, just like, we're like... Yeah, right. <laughs> 